yeah, Necrochal, Base of Fives, episode 27. I'm quite a bit of time has passed between the last, the end of the last episode and the beginning of this one. We had some pretty, pretty boring walls getting blueprinted in here and like over here and stuff like this. So this, this entire area will be nice and secure now and we're getting, we're getting some decent sized attacks because that's what happens. So we need, you know, we need this, you know, basic kind of stuff. So all of that's set up and we should just be able to go and plug this in and have all the bots, of which we don't actually have all that many bots. Um, they're going to need a storage chest, aren't they? I um, need to give them all the stuff that they want, which will include walls, laser turrets, um, then they're going to need quite a few rails, a couple of stations, signals, um, these poles, the stuff to put... Uh, yeah, all, all of those things. A couple of these, a couple of these. Um, yeah, they're going to need... Oh, cliff explosive is pretty important. They're going to need all the stuff to go and build this whole thing. And then also because we've still got, I'm pretty sure we've still got attack groups pathing in through some way here. I think I might have spotted some of those guys in, in just like a, yeah, guys like this that, that are still, still basically all these attack groups. Um, and some of them down here as well. So we have to, I don't think we want to leave this wall section until at least a skeleton of this thing is done and maybe I should actually help um, because I don't think I gave them all that many bots yeah they don't have a whole lot of bots it doesn't even cover the entire wall it doesn't okay so let's let's get working there as well I oh, mean we've got yeah this was actually yeah it was I, I remember what I was doing here now doesn't always happen, but it sometimes happens. Um, we want some landfill there. I reckon we want a bit of landfill over here as well. This is why I have landfill this time, so that we can extend all of that stuff again. Um, which of these? Yeah, we'll grab, grab this kind of stuff, and we'll put it in. Apparently, I wanted one. I uh, wanted to check that, that whether or not that was the kind of beeping I was concerned about, and it in fact was not the kind of beeping I was concerned about. Um, Oh no, that's the kind of... Yeah, this, this, this thing. I don't even have ammunition. Cool. So let's go back and grab that stuff. Hey, remember when I said we should stay around in case exactly this thing happened and then this exact thing happened and I wasn't really prepared for it? That was a cool trick. Um, yeah, so... So we need to help these bots defend these things. Maybe are the guys... They are. Guys are over here as well. Okay, so we've got... Do we have even fewer bots now? Yeah, we're down to even fewer bots. So that's great as well. Um, can I... Do I have... I don't have a fuel source with me. I've got cars. Um, but let's, let's stay here, he said, because it's important that we help defend the bots. And then drove away. Because I think I left more bots than these other networks need. And we're going to try and grab some bots and drive back quickly enough. Yeah, these guys have got 27 bots. Give me, give me all these bots. You guys don't need 27 bots at this point. And that wall is built. I would rather have like 40 bots. I'd rather actually have more bots than this in this other network. Should have brought more bots. Oh, well. Um, it's fine. These guys can immediately go and get all their stuff. Just, you know, get to work. Um, cause, yeah, because there's a lot of rail to build. Um, lots of... Do they have all the walls they need? Another... Yeah, they got enough they got enough walls for now. Um, this train probably wants to get out the way. You can go over here. Because um, we've got to signal these so that the other kind of trains can get in and deliver the stuff that we need. And by stuff that I need, I mean basically the, the light oil for the flamethrowers. And that's going to be a thing. Oh, then actually, can this... I kind of want this to go a bit further, because I think the plan is going to be have this also connect to the other side of the base. Um, so you get further out of the way, and then we're going to signal this thing, like... If this also connects this way, then I'm going to need this stuff, like, here, and this one's out and this one's in and is that is that beeping over here no I thought it might be so I was kind of concerned about it but I'm in fact not so all of that can just you know continue do we have 
Did I give bots? Don't know if I gave bots these robots or not. Um, yeah, because I did want yeah, kind of things that are kind of important include building the rest of the robot coverage. That's kind of a big deal. Okay, so we've got the rubber port coverage on that side. We need... Yeah, so there's there's a shell tower in there. I've got two of these shell towers. That's probably going to be enough for this section of wall. So you guys have that. Um, do we have... Did I give these... Oh, no, I could... So you guys need combinators. This... The light oil train is not hitting here yet which is interesting because I would like it to. Um, the light oil train is not actually full on light oil. Super interesting. Okay, um, is this the one? Ah, it's even going to the power plant instead of, yeah, that's going to be fun, isn't it? Um, what is, all those guys are running. I have enough crude. Gas could go better. So I think the plan here is going to be Speed Module 1 to Speed Module 3 is on all of those... Yeah, on all of the beacons that are hitting my power plants. Hitting my power plants, hitting my refineries. Because this will get me more light oil out, and then also more of everything else, which I hopefully will be able to use anyway. And yeah. Because we kind of need to get the, the light oil over here. And we actually need to get... Why are you guys not powered? Did I not give you... I don't think I gave you those at all, did I? That was a bit of a, bit of a misplay. Um, okay, fine, whatever. Um, give me back all the stuff that you probably won't need. You've still got 43 bots. That 43 is probably the number of bots we're going to leave you with. But do you actually have all the stuff that you need? I think, actually, because of the way this flares out on this side... Um, yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll turn up later with more stuff. I think I want a bit more landfill over here. So I can have a couple more of these guys. Uh, yes, get that. Yeah, like that. Um, just to get more coverage on this bit. And then this tower here. Yeah, is, is a couple of squares to the left of where it needs to be. But whatever. I don't think we can cover this thing. Yeah, this perimeter doesn't look like we'd be able to cover it with one anyway. And then this one here is covering the rest of it, so that's fine. Um, so if we can actually get... Which bit is... Which bit is lacking power? Is it... Okay, so this is, this is a, there's a spot in here. Okay. Now, now those lasers... Now most of those lasers have power. Okay, fine. Um... Let's just, do, let's just do a thing where we go, you know what? Power power this side of this thing as well. Okay, so the lasers are up. The flamethrowers are not. This... Yeah, and then I've still got a couple of guns sitting around the place that we should try and get back because they just don't need to be here. Uh, and then as soon as we get light oil... Do I have any more guns in there? Um, I'm seeing a lot of stuff on the ground. But, like, the shell towers will take care of that once they're powered. Um, did I leave? I did leave guns over here. Okay, so we're going to say that that part is done. Even though it's it's not as easy with the laser towers, especially with the mirror biters, which is a bit of a shame. Um, so I think we're just going to leave... We're going to leave some of those guys there for... Do they, and then the, the lasers, they've got about the same range as the, the lasers, don't they? Whatever. Okay, so that's going to do the things that it needs to, kind of. Um, I still need to get the light oil here. We're going to have to, I, that's going to be a, a further problem to address. And then this, this rail line. Yeah, I think I need to do this kind of intersection stuff with all of these. I think this rail line, we're just going to loop back around here and reconnect in here. Because all of this, yeah, this this spot here doesn't connect. Which means that all of this territory is ours now. And I just spotted a car that I've left over there. So let's like get a backup car. And also fuel it with wood. And actually, all of this goop I could just leave in. Yeah, that might be a decent call. 
rather than carting this around the place, all the stuff that I want to get back to the trash section can actually just go into the trash train when it gets here. I'm going to check that there's nothing else like walls or landmines or things like that that will end up here. Yeah. This all looks like stuff that I want to go to the, the trash train. Um, and then there's a lot of extra building materials in here, isn't there? Um, you guys didn't actually get all that many walls. Okay. Um, had some of those. Give me, you won't, I mean, if you, if you lose any of those things, that's going to be a bit of a shame. Um, yeah, that, that should be enough of a resupply, kind of. Um, you've got You've got 180 repair packs, you've got 43 bots. I would like to give you more walls, just so you've got more walls. But that's going to be probably the last of... I mean, I say probably the last. What am I losing four things of? Losing bots. And they've still got 60 bots, and they're still just attacking me. It's fine, yep. Um, walls was the thing I was putting in here. Yeah, there we go. So now you've got a lot of walls. Um, need to need to boost the light oil production significantly um, because we kind of need to get we kind of need to get you know the that bit of the wall properly defended um, because stuff like this is turning up and it's fine. That, yeah, that used 10% of the bullets that I put in this gun. So so the faster we get that light oil supplied, the happier I will be. Um, do I have... Yes, yeah, have those things on the hopper. So we're going to attempt to keep this rectangular as much as we can because maybe we need the building space? I probably don't need the building space. Um, yeah, this is... Okay, I managed to place that so that I didn't actually destroy any of my rail segments because these grenades will actually do quite a bit of damage. Yeah, like, yeah. The disadvantage of having all this stuff properly upgraded. But then... Not using poison capsules to clear trees is that I'm not actually using poison capsules to clear trees, so a lot of stuff just gets... I have to be more careful about throwing around explosives if the explosives are actually going to blow up my stuff as well. Um, these guys, however, can also just go away. Um, and there's still... Yeah, there's still junk on the ground that I haven't cleared out from when I pushed bases, but that's fine. Um, is this going to end up... I'm going to need to... I think I, I regard myself as completely controlling this area now. And I know I've said that before, and it's not been true. Um... Oh, I didn't leave guns on that side, did I? Um, yeah, so I should probably go back and... Yeah, that that's... Uh, I have the ammunition and the guns. Okay, fine. Um, yeah, that's a thing that is a nicely timed revelation. Is I kind of need to go back here. And I could run into serious problems if... The light oil... If I produce enough light oil to send that train off while this train is here... Um, but we're going to ignore that for a while, because uh, we're just going to run up here and put... Get a couple of these trees out of the way. And then put a couple more of these guns. Uh, how many? Yeah, it's kind of not... Yeah, that was badly done. 78, 32, 100 and... whatever. Um, yeah. All those corpses being picked up, which is nice. Okay, so let's go back to the other train, reconnect it to the network from the other side. Um, then, yeah, I think... I think I saw the mixed build was kind of struggling. Some of the buffers have also been extended um, because we're backing up, but we need more steel. Steel is going to be the next thing. White science is... I'm not even researching anything that uses that kind of science. And do I have... Oh wow, we've got a lot of that stuff. I have multiple stacks of that. Okay, in that case, 
We don't really need the fireball damage yet. The thing we really want to finish off is the mining productivity. That'll be helpful. Um, and then what else do I do? I actually I don't know whether I finishing off this should get me a surplus of military science, which means then we can go into something like flamethrower damage, and so that should yeah not do that weird thing where it's quite dependent on the rate at which I was making red science because I think the the fireball stuff yeah it's one of the ones where I need three times as much red science as anything else which is just kind of weird but whatever military science is also backed up so so in order to use that maybe let's do a bit of a bit of yeah we'll do 5,000 worth of refined flammables research which I definitely have enough for not, not even considering. I've, I've just I've just got that military science sitting in a box. Then we'll do some yeah sure whatever. Um, what I okay fine. I guess uh, I guess I was on the other side of that signal. Yeah, signals signals doing what they should. Signals protecting my bits of track. Um, let's not run into the other train though. Yeah. Okay, so down here, do I have do I have more landfill? I kind of need at this point more landfill. Um, that's probably going to be enough landfill. I guess I don't need a whole lot of landfill. I just need to do kind of like this patch. Okay, so if this area is safe, then I think the first thing we're going to do is get rid of this combinator so that this train stop is active so that all of this stuff just gets taken. Um, because the less of that stuff we have to deal with, the better. And um, this... This now I want to unload actually. Um Okay, so let's yeah, let's uh because we want this this light oil train here to go to this temp oil station. Um except it can't because Oh yeah, fine. Yeah. Um, and then just take all of the oil that's there. That will be what we need you to do. Then the... Am I, am I concerned about the light oil that's in these pipes? Probably not. Pretty sure I've got a deconstruction planner of everything except bottom infrastructure, which is going to be a thing we're going to use. Um, you go there? Yeah, sure. I would have liked you to go to the other one, but I should probably actually connect these rail networks first, shouldn't I? Um, Yeah, you're just getting all that stuff. Yeah, you, you go over here, and then you don't need to exist anymore. Um, give me all of these things back. Actually, no, that's not true. You definitely needed that, because the next step is to be decommissioning all of this. Um, did, did the light oil train go back to the light oil station? Because um, you kind of want to go there. Yes, and then that should probably empty out. 7.5, go to 15k, yes, yeah, so that will all fit on the train. Okay, so that's nice. That means we can get this deconstruction planner and deconstruct all the rest of this stuff. And that doesn't look like I'm taking away... Yeah, nothing, nothing there will affect anything that the bots had. Um... Yeah, this is, this is fine. The last of that oil is going on this train. Um, actually, we're going to do an even cheekier thing at this point. Because um, I did want... Like, this train track here... Needs to connect to the main network somehow. Um, let's get rid of these things, because I don't need those anymore either. Is that in... That's actually in line with this thing as well, isn't it? Which is... Trick I was wondering whether or not I would be able to play, and I think we will be able to. Um, yeah, so all of this stuff does need to exist either. And we're going to turn this into kind of an intersection, but not really an intersection. Um, mostly because... Uh, yeah. Because I, I want a place to put this other train... It's going to be slightly off, isn't it? 
Oh, that's super annoying. Um, yeah, I would have to move all of this stuff. Um, you guys are done anyway, though, aren't you? Yeah, I don't actually need the bots for any more of this. Um, yeah, a new, a new and different kind of intersection. Um, that one doesn't want to exist. And it does want to complete like that. Okay, so this is all intersection, he said. Um, as if doing intersections like this is a good idea at all. Um, so what we're going to do is... That's how that's how we're signaling intersections in this run. Yes, it's a disaster. It's fine. Um, this train here... The reason for that little kind of weird overlap section here is that this won't actually work because we we signaled it to be an intersection and the other train already has the intersection. Um, but the point of that is if we're in here and I break this one then the, own, the, the easiest wall oil for it to get to is the one on the wall that really needs the oil. So we're going to do that. We're going to put this back. Um, then yeah, then we broke a lot of this power grid. Did I break the entire power grid? No, because I do actually have one loop going the other way, so that's fine. Um, more power over here would also be a good plan, to be honest. Um, but we're going to grab... So we'll reconnect that back up. Let's leave a radar here as... Leave a radar somewhere it's actually powered. Um, so, so yeah, so we've now got... I mean, I would like more power connection here and another power connection here, but everything at least kind of works. And I could actually go back and get this ammunition now because these these guys have their light oil. So maybe I do that. Maybe I just quickly do that. Um, the the light oil train went some way. Did it go? Did it go the long way around? Um, it is in fact going the long way around. Oh well. Uh, maybe maybe also that's because. It, who knows, whatever. Um, not a huge concern, to be honest. Um, the wrong way. Yeah, we're going to go and pick up those turrets because we don't need to be spending the green ammo at the, there at this point. Although we don't really need... We don't really need any kind of ammunition at there at this point. As in, we don't need to be conserving this green ammo. It's basically just red ammo at this point because we've got uh, nuclear processing online. Um, but we're still going to run up here and grab all the stuff. Give me these back. Yeah, so that was a long, tedious build of a thing that should have been fairly straightforward, but also I guess we were getting attacked at the same time, and I guess we've also torn down an old wall segment as well, so that's, that's kind of helpful. So sure. Um, do we have? Did the bots pick anything up? And the bots did pick up a bunch of things. And then everything else, yeah, we're gonna leave like that. Cool, whatever. And yeah, look, wall wall segments doing what wall segments need to do. Um, uh, I've just realised how dangerous this is because that other train's not on a segment, which means any other train could attempt to be using this section as well. But apparently they're not, so that's fine. Um, cool. Yep, because we want it to be back down here, give us this train back. And what even was the next thing that I wouldn't needed to do? Did I? I think I had a feeling that my oil supply was low, wasn't it? This oil supply is actually running down. This used to be completely full. And I guess that's the, the joy of speed moduling all of these dudes. And these guys are now running at 135% speed. And um, hopefully this means I have light oil. I have some, but not all the light oil. Um, does that mean I have power grid? I have... I'm still struggling for power grid, which is also interesting. Um, so I think the thing to do is going to be... Yeah, because what I wanted to do... There are a couple of things I wanted to do this episode, is, is get around to start building this ammunition stuff, and then also the various... Nekrashal alien goop processing things that lead into the fireball powder, which is the ammunition for the fireball artillery tower. That also takes a lot of steel, and steel was the other thing that I think I was going to address first, but I think we actually go and address the oil first. 
Um, so let's take this back to kind of... Okay, apparently other parts of... Oh no, it's because... It's because this does actually doesn't actually connect the other way. Yeah, we would have to wander... Okay, let's let's do this station this intersection. Air quotes intersection. Let's make it actually look like an intersection now that we don't need kind of that other overlap. Um stackers here would be useful, and we kind of had a stacker for one train there, but also not a stacker of the size of train that we were actually expecting to push down there all that often if we start mining from it. So we'll just Yeah, we'll redo this again, which is fine, I suppose. And now we should be in a position to wander much more easily back over here. Yeah, there we go. Um, we're still going the other way. Okay, why? Wait. Did I mess that up again? Maybe I deleted the wrong temporary... No, no, this is just train reservation things. It's now decided it's completely going the other direction. Okay, fine, whatever. Um, yeah, so we want to get... We only get this oil, I think. I actually I didn't check the other one today. This is this has been beacon. These guys are running, and these, this oil is also low, super low, and also can't. It's got enough gas for the mixed build, but I think I want to flip these pumps around. And yeah, this is what I was thinking might happen. A lot of these refineries are not actually running at all. And what on earth happened to? It's just like not have. I don't know what even what was happening with that, but it annoys me and shall not exist. Um, actually, let's check the power grid. Yeah, kind of fine. Oh, I say kind of fine. I'm capping out on the solar panels, and then when I'm actually using all my stuff, there's I do need to expand the solar network as well. I think that's going to be a thing to deal with sometime later. Um, but all of that. Yeah, all my all my labs are running, which is pretty fine. Getting getting some research done, which is also pretty fine. So let's get all the things we need to first build a bunch of pump jacks. Did I even? I don't even know if I automated pump jacks. Um, but I'm going to want a bunch of beacons and modules because why not? Um, I'm going to need some more of this stuff and some of these uh, rail segments I've still got. Um, most of those things I have. Let's have some more of these. Um, won't need those kind of things. Won't need those kind of things. Um, this is all a pure combat one, which I won't need any of. In fact, let's have some of the combat stuff back to go kind of off the build train, because we don't need it. Uh, let's keep a couple of those. Um, and also, let's keep a couple of these. I kind of shafted myself by not having those earlier, so whatever. Um, but yeah, rail, I don't need actually that much rail at all, do I? Never mind. Um, let's have Logibots help me with some of this stuff, and in fact all of that stuff. Um, that can just go somewhere where it doesn't need to be. And then I need more iron ore? Yeah, I mean, stuff's coming off the train, but just, these guys are just not getting everything they need. Anyway, did I actually automate? I've got a feeling that I didn't automate pump jacks, and it does not look like I automated pump jacks. So we're going to do this kind of thing, and then we also need some steel for our pump jacks. We do need some steel for our pump jacks, uh, which I don't have a lot of at all, which is a bit of a shame. Actually, one of these, the, the guy over here building beacons, this guy should have, yeah, a bunch of those. Um, 18? 18 is probably a decent number, sure. Um, so that should be... Do I have... I have trains, I have fluid wagons, I will need some train fuel. Oh, I'm not actually... I'm not requesting any train fuel up here, am I? So let's also request some train fuel. Um, 10, 10 stacks of train fuel? four stacks of train fuel and then I'm not actually putting it in the network anywhere so that's also kind of fun um, where's where's the place where I'm taking steel yeah here let's grab that and then I'm pretty sure I have where is a place that this can go that won't just mess up the power grid like I don't really want to put it here because that's actually power grid I could put it here which is just then super gonna mess up all power grids 
because um, all of the stuff will get used yeah it, it will satisfy the requests I've just put down before letting any of the solid fuel into the power grid but I'm probably also still fine with that these guys are doing pretty fine um, nine is a lot of stuff to lose do you guys still have yeah you, you're, you're, you're bleeding bots but whatever um, okay so I think that means with all of these actually how many am I what is it for five yeah less than 18 so I can go and grab that quite large oil deposit which is pretty cool um, also run power back up here at the same time because I've got enough of these which I do so that's pretty fine which means if these bots can bring me some solid fuel which they have we are ready to go um, and we can go let's yeah let's start by going back over here because we wanted to run the power the other way as well and then also this this wall section here is also surplus to requirements so let's get the same deconstruction planner and deconstruct all the stuff that we don't care about including let's leave the radar but then all of this stuff can go and then all of this stuff can go and taking out the combinator means that this train station should now be active which means all this stuff will get picked up which is fine um, this wants to be manual so that I can drive this power line um, hopefully I already had this segment before I decided to drive on it but I don't think I'm putting all that many trains down here anyway and I guess we just keep an eye on whether or not anything else is coming this way um, and it doesn't seem to be I didn't have didn't have did not did not have radars did not build radars okay so much for putting radar coverage on that little section of the map oh well um where is this going to connect okay so we've got we've now got additional redundant power we've got all these guys turning up doing their stuff I say you know we don't have many trains running on this bit of the network but also this somewhere in here there's a pickup tower right this this pickup tower which you know has has range on all of the bits that it wants to pick up because we made sure it did and so these things are going to be collected at some point but whatever we're not going to worry about that yet um, we're going to wander where's a good place for an intersection I guess over here these are these trees and cliffs I don't really want in the way um, and then these guys are struggling for bots because this guy only has two bots how did that happen um, I also I have a lot of bots did I take all the bots did I deconstruct a network that, that removed all of the bots anyway whatever things to not worry about um, because we're gonna build a do it over here how do I want to I mean let's just do it like the way of not thinking about it that's actually going to be too close isn't it um, let's actually do the do the way of thinking about it even less which is find this train station and yeah even the tanks are on the correct side and it can go like here because of course it can did I I did take beacons good um, why do I not have you have the rail? Okay. Uh, too far. Okay. Um, I kind of need you to be somewhere else at the moment, don't I? So that, so that all of the other trains can still use the rest of this train network, even if you're kind of in the way. So we're going to wander this down. Uh, not that way. We're going to try and take take the turn into the oil supply, uh, like so. And then we're going to build the rest of this network. Uh, you go down here, and then. Yep. Signal that way. Signal that way. That's fine. Okay. Um. Why do I only have three pumps? That's reasonably tragic. Um, a bunch of beeping I kind of don't care about. Um, 
where are yeah, these guys? So now we're into a realm where we wonder about how many how many beacons and modules is gonna make this a thing worth doing. I'm I don't even Wow, there's a bunch of these things in just like kind of inconvenient places. Uh, which I guess I'm still gonna tap. Like we're not gonna just leave them untapped. Uh one over here somewhere, isn't there? No? Where? Oh yeah, yeah. Just revealing revealing oil wells with, with grenades. That's how it works, isn't it? Um I don't even have enough of these to module all these guys then, do I? That's unfortunate. Oh well. Um beacons Uh where are we yeah, I can't get all that many beacons on these things, can I? Having having previously decided that three was a number of beacons or a number of oil wells that would make me happy beaconing things, there's not all that many spaces where I can actually get three beacons on these things. And I could beacon these guys harder, but I also just don't think I really super need to actually I was gonna upgrade these plan these, but then I'm also not really coming back with rubber ports and bots and stuff like that, because we still gotta just, you know, connect all the stuff normally. Um, so we'll just come back with more modules later, I guess, and then we're gonna do Hey look at me, I'm connecting all of my pump jacks, and then we've got to get all of this stuff into actually we're gonna have to come back with more pumps as well. Uh, because do we do I need to be pumping into these tanks? I suspect I don't actually need to be pumping into those tanks. I was going to use I was going to use these pumps to pump into these tanks, but I just don't think it matters. I think all of these guys. Yeah, we'll just we'll just forget about that completely. Um, we'll just have. Yeah, a bunch of a bunch of this looking stuff. Hey, more oil. That's that's nice, isn't it? Everyone likes that. And then one of these here. Connect it, at least some of these to their inputs to the tanks. Uh, why did I? I can just do that. Then I can just do what you know, whatever. Um, okay. Some of these guys are running. Some of these guys are not running. Uh, this one must go here, and then we can just like, connect this stuff up. Um, I don't think this is gonna. I don't, like, I don't think I'm gonna be beaconing this hard enough to get into flow rate issues in the way that you often do if you're massively beaconing pump tracks. Uh, does actually need to move. Cool. Um, yeah, that's that's going to be. You know, we've now got more oil. We've now got another three thousand percent of oil, um, which is getting an extra sixty percent speed. So that's you know a decent amount of oil. Um, I do need more engines. Okay. So I guess I think I think I'm going to leave that as. Is that true? Not quite true. I almost said we're going to leave that and come back to it sometime later. We're not quite going to leave it and come back to it sometime later, because the other thing we still need is putting these guys where they need to go. And now, now this guy, I mean, this, this is probably already, yeah, it's already full. Um, we need to go and reconfigure this oil station down here. Um, not that one. Yeah, so that this, yeah, because at the moment, this oil station takes a surplus from what we're pulling out of the ground here and puts it in these tanks to be taken back to this 
this station here. The problem is that oh, this one also needs... Maybe this other one should be called... Maybe I should train limit both of these to one and set them up in the same way. That's kind of compelling. Um, did I have... Oh, you're waiting at the thing. Okay, fine. Um, in that case, all of these things can also disappear. Um, this is... Yeah. Because these guys also want to be... Uh, yeah, this this train station no longer needs to exist. These, these two diligent robots can just unpack everything else. Uh, don't worry about killing the cliffs. That's fine. Okay. And then we ran out of fuel. That was not a thing I was expecting, but it's not a thing I'm necessarily opposed to either. Um, uh, these... That's going to unload so quickly. Um, this one doesn't even want to be... Yeah, this doesn't even want to be Macintosh still anymore. I think this is going to be... We're going to call this Big Oil, because it's going to be a place where we need to push a lot of oil. Um, and then, yeah, all of all of this needs to go the other way as well. But then I'm still pumping out of this thing, aren't I? Yes, and then... Then I don't actually want this thing signaled. No, I do want this thing signaled. Because I want to... Okay, no, I saw... I saw... I saw this beep of a thing being destroyed and worried it was the train being destroyed because I saw, well, like, biters really close because the the red flash was a thing here I was looking at thinking is that combat and it's not it's a train out of fuel it's fine um this one only wants to have and actually wants to be less than 15k so this tank will always be 15k these ones will always have headroom to be able to push their oil into this network and then anything less than yeah because at the moment all these guys are kind of struggling and will continue to kind of struggle because this pump is going to be really bad at getting oil out of this tank. However, this thing here will mean that we can go... over here. This is fine, isn't it? Um, that's not fine. And yeah, now we're going to be pumping from both sides of that, so that's a setup that's going to be pretty fine. Um, this this train station here doesn't want to be... Um, yeah, this is going to be... So, what did I even call that other train? Okay, um, let's have... Yeah, you can have some of this. And you can go to where you need to go, and then, which is actually still kind of in the way, um, then the other train that we put all the way over here, um, for which needs a radar or whatever, what is the station called? Um, it's also still called Macintosh still, okay. Um, and we're just going to be ambiguous about whether or not our station names are, are like delivery or receiving stations, so that's fine. Um, this is going to go from top oil, wherever that is, to big oil. And top oil wants to be full cargo, big oil wants to be empty cargo. Do that. And then actually also time past 10 seconds just to make it sure it gets all the fuel it needs. Um, and yeah, these in 10 seconds these guys will add all the fuel that, that will be a thing. Okay, so does that... Does that mostly solve my problem? I think that mostly solves the oil problem because all these guys are doing everything they can. Um, this is still just going to the mixed build when it can. I need... I don't have... pumps in the Logibot network? Or this is this is still the same Logibot network, isn't it? 300 construction robots? Yeah. So did I not automate pumps? Did I not Logimore more pumps? Um, no, that's pretty funny. Cool. Okay, fine. Um, anyway. 
Uh, so the next of the projects, I think, I think the mixed build still needs steel. This is all super backed up. Why is this backed up? Why is all of the smelting stopped? Um, the mixed build hasn't run out. It's I've got acid. I've got gas. Am I short on? Am I short on coal? I'm not short on coal. Am I short on... I'm not short on power. Okay, so why is this not all... Green chips are backed up. Am I not making enough red chips? Am I not making enough red chips for these guys to get all of the blue chips they need? It's because I'm not making enough... It doesn't... Like, this doesn't look like as much plastic as I was expecting. But also, these guys are all running to the extent that they can, which means they should run harder. And I have just boosted the petrochem supply, so... So that's a thing I'm kind of fine doing. Okay, so that should get us more plastic out, which I didn't realize was necessarily a thing I needed to this point, but whatever. Um, yeah, I think other things that I was going to do is down here. Yeah, this this little fuel depot here may as well also get turned into power grid. So let's grab a chunk of that. Let's also include some rubber ports at the top. And let's also include the big power poles so that they can all get to where they need to go. That much there looks like some amount I want to copy. Uh, is that going to do everything it needs to? Um, do I have a big power pole? Well, I've also got... Yeah, so this thing is going to connect to this guy, and then all this stuff is going to get built, and it's going to be fine, and we're going to have another collection of power grid that will just consume that stuff, so that's that's also pretty fine. Okay, um, next thing I wanted to do is... Yeah, in cleaning out this inventory is going to be definitely between th things. I um, decided that... Yeah, I think I still think I need steel, right? Like, steel is a thing that I. Yeah, this is this is not a great amount of steel, to be getting. To be doing all of my purple science stuff with. In fact, my purple science is probably. Bricks, which is a thing, and then also definitely steel. So money productivity done is nice, uh, but this means I need a an entirely new plan for steel. And the thing I decided I was going to do about this, um, and this also might mean that all the all the alien chemical stuff doesn't actually happen until a bit, was take probably only two of these things, and then a couple of beacons, give me all the speed modules, um, I still, still want a bunch of these things, and then also furnaces. Um, thing, things I will want include a bunch of furnaces, um, I'm going to need more furnaces than that, but whatever, we can come back to that later. Um, I've got belt. I'm going to need some red belt. Is it going to be easier to have the bots bring me this, or just set this up once, bearing in mind that... Uh, have enough splitters, have enough undergrounds. Belt. Train stuff I will also need. I still need do need to do a bunch more train things. Um, but I think that's probably going to be enough to set some things up at the moment. And I've only got... I've only got a small amount of this stuff inbound, which is also a bit of a shame. Um, delivery 15. Oh, that's because... Yeah, that's because down... Wherever I'm making these things, I'm not actually making them very quickly because I didn't want a huge number of them left over. Yeah, like this, this thing is limited to be there being like five or ten or something. But but really here I want, I reckon about another two hundred. Um, but let's let's grab all of that stuff, and yeah, they're already going to be on their way, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, because we things things that I'm thinking about are what am I going to do with with this iron? Do I have the landfill? Yes. 
Amavian, how do I get more steel? And what what am I doing with all of this like this? Because this also the other thing that's just struck me now, this is this is not really enough to bother putting a big train on. So we're gonna have we're gonna have a different plan, which is gonna be in many ways worse, in many ways yeah, making Really? The bots don't have rubber ports? thought I had rubber ports. Maybe I used to have a lot of rubber ports and haven't actually... Did I actually? Okay, so maybe I've gone through my stash of rubber ports. I've got 10 on me and then I've got these other rubber ports that are going to be in here somewhere. And then maybe I'm actually out of rubber ports. That's pretty funny. Okay, sure. Um, yeah, so we want... That's fine. Um, yeah, I think we're going to have two train stations over here for reasons. And I think that figuring out how the train station is going to fit is going to be the first section of figuring out how the rest of the steel plant fits together. Because um, I want... Oh, you're going to be in the way as well, aren't you? Okay, whatever. Uh, Probably that's going to be enough space. Probably. I mean, everything is, at this point, connected with the good on the solo as well, so we're not super concerned about it. Can I...? No. Never mind. Um, oh, did I get...? I do have... I do have stack filter inserters. Yes. The other things that I realized I will need for this plan later. Okay, so let's... Uh, if trains are coming to this bit of the station, then, or to the network, then we'll let them do that. These guys heading out will... Actually, I don't, need, I don't need them to turn this way at all. This is not a feature that I will ever need of these stations. It's always going to be this back to the core, um, which maybe means... Yeah, uh, whatever. We'll leave it. Um, do I have do I have enough stations here for the four trains that I want? Um, no, I need to go a little bit further because I kind of want to be able to have. Yeah, it's going to be enough, isn't it? And then I didn't actually bring enough trains, so that's also cool. But we can still set the rest of this up. Maybe, probably, depending on whether or not we have enough space. Um, okay, so actually, um, let's let's just do this with... And we're still inside the other network as well. That's not entirely surprising. Okay. Um, get rid of all of these things. Get rid of those things. Get rid of... Actually, a lot of those can stay. Um, yeah, and then we'll kind of... I don't even think I needed to do all of that. Oh, but this, this stuff definitely does. Okay. So all of that is done. In fact, I probably only need one of these at this point. And it can probably go, like, here. And that's gonna... And then we'll just, like, manually move this thing around. And by manually, I mean give, give bots instructions to move it around. I'm just give it that. Let's give it a bunch of these. Let's give it enough beacons. Uh, actually, is that... Yeah, it wants... 45 per second. So this is going to be a... Blue belt worth of iron. And the plan for this... I didn't bring... Didn't bring those power poles. I guess we're doing it with these power poles. That's not entirely objectionable. Is this guy is now... Plus twenty percent pollution, so I actually need more of these, but that's also fine because I've got more of them. Two hundred forty minutes, plus twenty. Oh yeah, I was looking at the wrong thing. Um, two forty, two forty, still two forty, four eighty. Okay, so this is 
This is the last of the beacons, which will reduce the this from the forty percent to the twenty percent threshold of yeah that's that yeah it, it it's now modulated in beacon that's fine. Um, I think I don't even think I want to get a full blue belt out of this. I think we're just going to plan for the moment on getting a yellow belt worth of stuff out of this. Or well, sorry, a red belt stuff worth of stuff out of this. And the question is, how do I? Because the plan is. This is now going to be a red belt of mostly iron ore, um, for which this thing has 1.6 million iron ore to pull out, so that's fine. And the thing I wanted is steel. So I think we're going to do something like... We have these things, yeah. So this is going to be... We're going to go with our fairly basic... If we do this as that's going to be half, and then that's going to be essentially a whole lane of yellow belt of steel, which is why I've got all this yellow belt. Um, and then I need to get iron onto this side, and then also, if I do this with uh, that one's not going to be in the right place, it's going to need to go here. And then we want the stack inserter there. Stack filter inserter here set to coal. Uh, these things don't need that much, but they, they might need quite a lot. And the idea is... Yeah, that some of this wants to be... It's also... Where do these need to go? Almost all of it. Um, okay, fine. Yeah, so this is this is going to be... This is going to be half a yellow belt's worth of iron ore, which means I need four of these to handle one of those, which means I definitely do have the space that I need to, uh, which is nice. Um, I've already got a storage chest. Um, and then I need... Is this guy... Is this guy actually adding any value at all? I don't think it is. Oh, it was. Um, disappointed face. There we go. Three, four. And I think if I do six of these, then this is actually enough for this guy to be a blue belt. Um, what did I break there? How much of that did I break? I broke the miners. Everything is still connected through the solar good, which is fine. But then this one down here, which I thought I put down here, connecting to the solar good, is in fact not connected to the solar good. So we'll just do that. Um, yeah, so this should give me... If this thing here... I didn't actually need to leave space, but leaving space would have actually made it a little bit easier. Um, Do I... Well, it's just... Yeah. Yeah. That's now going to do the same thing, and it will mean that I can drive this belt, first of all, through here, which is going to be fine, and then I can also... split this thing here... Uh, except this, yeah, no, this, because the thing is, this only wants iron. Okay, I think we're going to have to do this the other way, aren't I? I'm actually going to have to go, bit of a shame. Um, and then for copy and paste purposes, it's going to be easier to start down here. Um, yeah, because the thing is this, I can't do this with one belt running all the way across, 
because these ones want to be exposed to the entire mixed thing, but then these want to split off part of the iron ore. Um, and on the right. Yeah, now if now I could actually upgrade just this much to blue. I mean these guys are gonna be grabbing all the stuff they need from there. This one needs to be underground from here to kinda of wherever, kinda of doesn't matter. And then this thing. Yeah, that's this yeah so then this interface that's not going to be what we want but this interface here should now fit like so uh, except that these things need to be upgraded yeah I think that's what we want I think that's gonna be how things are gonna work Is that going to be? Yeah, that'll probably be fine. Um, okay. So let's, I mean, let's give the bots the things they need to build all of these. They need a bunch of these. They need a bunch of that. They need a bunch of this. Some of each of these things. Um, I wasn't really paying attention to what they really needed. Oh, I do need to bring them along stack and more to stack and searches, don't I? Um, yeah, a bunch of that kind of stuff. We are going to have to come back and bring them more things. Um, but the plan here is this guy has actually really not that much coal in its range, does it? That could be an issue. Um, 64k, well, about 6 million. I don't actually think that this guy is going to be grabbing enough coal for that plant to work. So let's... If I put it over here to start with... Also 61k. There's just not, not very much coal. So it'll be interesting to see whether this plan works at all. It might not. Did I give you guys boxes? And then I did I give you, I think that's, yeah, mostly all of what you need. Um, so, yeah, the plan is, these guys grab all of the coal they see, and then this other thing... Do you guys not get nearly enough belt? Maybe you didn't, didn't get enough belt. Have, have all the belt you might want. Um, yeah, then these things look like they will in fact put the yeah the iron into steel in the way that we want and then do I have undergrounds? Had undergrounds over here I've only got three undergrounds. Cool. Um, this one here is the output one. Uh, if these were red then these would just connect wouldn't they? Would they just connect if they were red? Do I... No. Mildly annoying. Okay, in that case you guys just get to be terrible ones, I guess. So this is going to give us... Is it all going the correct way? Um... Because I can also just bring these... Yeah, we can bring, we can bring some of these back the other way as well. Uh, like so. Uh, that one goes this way. All these guys are... Yeah, so now this thing, once we get this built, will be hopefully a belt of steel, although we also really have to make sure that this thing gets enough coal, and that's also an interesting concern, and don't know what I'm going to do about that. I guess I could have used electric furnaces, but also don't really want to, um, even though I've got... I've got all the blue chips I need, don't I? All the, all the red chips. Oh, the red chips are backing up. And the LDS is also backing up. Why is the LDS backing up? Is it because I'm not launching rockets? Or is it because I'm short of rocket fuel? Um, I guess that always makes sense, because I have 14 of these running at 100%, and then I have 
12 of these running at 350% and then yeah 12 of these running at a, so so I always did need more rocket fuel so let's also just smash some of that into play here I guess I think I, have I already extended that once whatever doesn't really matter wait it's not rock, it's not rocket fuel at all is the issue it's LDS um, which is doing what it can okay um, I've got enough rocket fuel all that is just working fine and um, this then what it should definitely do is have these guys in the network um, so that anything that needs LDS which is not really doing a thing at the moment oh that was the other thing I realized isn't it this this here kind of doesn't I mean it's not backing up but it also kind of doesn't work because these guys will preferentially take from the inside of this belt of copper which means that re half red belt speed of the outside is still just turning into half yellow belt speed here but it's all it's all still fine enough it's just these guys aren't they're just not getting enough copper um so there's a brick on the end of the belt i wonder if that's making anything worse it's probably not it's probably fine okay um this is going to be most of our steel train station um this is extra junk and this is going to be omni industrial megacorp that's actually a pretty decent name for a thing that's going to be making us a bunch of steel so we're going to do we're just going to use that um these guys we need a lot more of these as well aren't i um then these things because I don't think I'm generating enough of this I don't think the throughput will be enough to even bother having any larger number of these guys um, but yeah then we've got to do yeah so the plan of the plan for this is here's gonna be this 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 own little steel furnace doing uh, doing its own steel furnace things it'll get its fuel from the same place hopefully it gets enough fuel maybe it will maybe it won't and um, that's kind of also why there are these boxes of fuel here that yeah need to need to be capped to quite a lot but not all that much ah uh, you guys are also in does that mean a bunch of things messed up no, it was actually okay. Um, I'm still gonna do. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll switch around that other way at some point. Yeah. So so these things grab all the coal they want with a decent muff. Actually, let's just not not limit those chests at all. Um. So these things will grab a lot of coal, which means that even if there's an extended period of this guy not having coal, hopefully there'll be there'll be enough here for these guys to get what they need to. Need to build the rest of these furnaces. Um. Need to plug this belt and then also this belt into train stuff that will go here um, and I think I'm pretty happy asserting that these will be yellow belts do we even I don't even think I care about mixing these I think these boxes should probably be capped though, but I don't ever think I'm going to have this much stuff to deal with. Um, yeah, steel station, need to give this, I still need more trains. Um, this guy is also going to need to do some kind of nasty thing, so let's do that. Uh, let's not put it there, let's put it here. This will be... Train station. Um, these guys have got everything they need at this point, don't they? They're just waiting on... They're just waiting on all the other things that I also need to build. So I need to bring them a bunch of stuff for this. Um, but the other problem 
other problem? Other just thing to work on? I wonder if I've... No, the only thing that this guy was blocking was the solar, so that's kind of fine. Um, these, these guys are now complaining about not having bots to fix walls. Yeah. The, like the, the bot shortage was also a thing that I was aware of, wasn't it? Kind of. Um, despite not actually having fixed them, although I did think of a way that I wanted to fix that. Um, so I need to bring, need to build, need to bring this build more stuff, and when I get more stuff here, and then also upgrade, probably that much of that thing. Yeah, the. The thing about this is, I'm making, I was going to say I'm making drone parts, except I'm also not making drone parts because I'm not even getting enough steel through here. But the way I wanted to do this differently, because I would either have to do this with a combinator or just, you know, another, another lump like this, like this one, this inserter always wants to be taking this stuff off the belt so that this one has space to put more things in the sushi. Um, this one only wants to be putting things in kind of the the ingestion buffer box if I've got not enough. So that this one always finds space in this chest to put things. But also I want a bunch of bots here to be able to do stuff with. So we're going to kind of double stage this to say this one only puts bots out if there's more than say 200. So this box will build up to 200 bots. Okay, bot frames, whatever. And then after that, they'll hop into this box if this box doesn't have enough, and then they will be sushi. So now, now I should have, let's also put, let's be able to request these as well. Um, so now I've got a way of building bots, which is nice. Um, things that are complaining are not having, yeah, not having a bunch of materials. I don't even know that I'm making blue things yet. Um, Okay, let's see if this other custom box of stuff, it does indeed have the things that I want, which is nice, um, but then the other things that I needed were plain inserters, yellow belt, also maybe a fuel source, that's going to be, and then also undergrounds. And then hopefully we'll be able to get that to turn on. Uh, so give me, give me this thing. Give me um, insertus was what I said, which I'm not actually requesting anywhere. Um, let's take let's take the other speed modules because I need to remember to go and speed module the other pump jacks that we just put down. Although that's probably got enough that it's fine. Um, I don't know, remember whether or not I needed those, and then all this other mall stuff. I'm currently short on, currently short on blue science. That's pretty exciting. Making making things at the rate of blue science is a thing that I was somewhat happy with. Um, I was here looking for, I wasn't looking for these guys, but I would like more pumps. Um, and still just sort of steel these guys were actually what I was looking for. And then yellow pelt, which is going to be up, up here, because this is a fine way to be designing things, isn't it? That's fine. Um, yeah, need to get, need to get a lot more iron in here. I think one of, yeah, one of, one of the other ongoing issues, and this might be, yeah, this, this train station is down to the last three miners that actually touch ore, and then there's all of this stuff, and then this faff, so reconfiguring this might be a thing that happens at some point, but whatever, we're not going to worry about that yet. We're going to go over here, um, all boxes, okay, we can have 25 more boxes, which is going to be not quite enough because I need 32 more boxes, but whatever. Um, Yeah, and there's this. It was I called it temp oil, didn't I? Where is that? This light oil train is also not quite full, so temp oil with an 
under with a with a lowercase with a lowercase t. Uh, you go. Uh, because yeah, because I need to. Can I actually just? That breaks the circuit condition. Then, then a bot will put this one back, right? At some point, a bot's going to put that back. You should have had. Yeah, there you go. And so now this should be enabled, and you can come and get that. And yeah, that's that's going to be fine, actually. Um, move these guys around so that after you get that oil, you go to the temp oil. Okay. Because um, we're back over here, and we can give these the guys the other things they needed. Uh, a bunch of this stuff. Where are the furnaces? Where did I put? There are the furnaces. Uh, yes, yeah, so they can build all of that. That's going to be fine. This is this is going to put the junk in my train that I don't want. But let's just drive away from that so that we don't have to worry about it. Also needs stack inserters, and it has enough boxes now. And also needs needs the fuel to initialize. Yeah, because this is this is the other thing about this mixed mining is that if I run out of fuel, I stop processing iron, and then all of this is also set up so that if I have like this, this entire thing will be limited at the rate at which I'm processing iron ore, which means this thing doesn't run, which means more fuel doesn't come out, which is the other failure mode of how that thing was deliberately set up, but I think I'm still okay with doing it like that. Um, what needs beacons? You guys need the stuff. You need those, and then you need that. Um, cool, you were... Rotated the wrong way. Oh well. Um, why? Oh, I guess you're trying to leave. Yeah, you're trying to leave and I'm I'm in the way. Okay. That is a thing that is not entirely a surprise. Um, do I have... I don't have bots with me. Because I think you guys were complaining about not having bots. Yeah, because there's a wall that's not repaired and also a wall that's busted. And you guys don't have bots. But that's okay, because I kind of... I kind of did a thing to get more bots, kind of, anyway. At least I'm going to have more frames now. And then also, remember that I never actually got... I never actually built these robot ports. So that might also just be a thing we deal with later. Um, what am I wait? I'm waiting on... Yeah, okay, that's pretty normal. Yeah, I should have, I should have a stacker in here. I should definitely have some kind of stacker in here. Um, these guys can now... Go to temp oil. Yeah, continue continue draining all of that. Um, so yeah, so now the next thing that we're going to look at building is the things that lead into these bigger ammunition types and then also the fireball stuff. And these all need fireball powder, the previous kind of ammo, and acid, and uranium, which is fine acid and chitin and poison ammo and then poison ammo takes red ammo and iron plates interesting and also alien poison and I think that's going to be the thing that I probably don't build now I think it's probably taken long enough and there's a couple of other things that I need to do in between to go yay episode um, but in the necroshell tab yeah, we've got we've got a bunch of other recipes that we haven't even looked at yet. I'm not even doing. We're nearly at behemoths, but we're not at behemoths yet. I still don't have any of these worm processing things, even though I could. I've got ways of making worm chitin from regular chitin, and that's probably fine. That I don't really need them. But yeah, the things the things to look at will be um, fireball powder takes. Sulfur, burning substance, dried alien chemicals. Um, there's a couple of ways to get burning substance, but they all lean on wood that I'm pretty sure I have a huge amount of. Um, let's also just get rid of all of that stuff in my infantry pots. We'll put it somewhere useful. Um, dried alien chemicals come from alien chemicals. Alien chemicals come from either brains or flesh. Both of which I should have. I mean, let's just check on the goop processing and how much of that we've got. And 
we now have oh actually we have we have less of this than like this used to be about the buff this buff used to be about 9k so that's that's tidier and then all of these guys are still just blocked up and bad and slow but also in a way that I'm kind of okay with because we're still getting we're still getting flesh through here so yeah that's that that's fine um yeah ways of getting alien chemicals um alien chemicals then get turned into poison and protein and I think the protein uses you can have basically better fish heal heal 200 physical damage okay fish uh heal 80 physical damage yeah so they're, they're twice as good as fish I don't know if I'm going to bother with it though Sp shooting speed two per second so so they they get consumed at the rate so they're, they're much better at restoring my hit points than fish are um, but mainly um yeah poison and protein turned into we can then turn surplus protein into more poison and we don't even need all that much of it do we because the only thing we're doing with that is the the chitin ammo that that's not true the one we just finished is the poison ammo that takes not really very much poison uh, but it gives us a lot more damage types and if we look at yeah if we, so all of all of these things are kind of within the range of stuff we can build already right like red ammo poison which which will will be the next build for next episode um chitin ammo needs chitin and sulfuric acid we've got like stacks full of all of those things um the bear the moth apo needs depleted uranium needs more sulfuric acid so all those are going to be reasonably complex build but from mostly other than the, the poison things we've got already and then we get up to this kind of ammo which a depends on chitin which is kind of interesting because we're only getting chitin from killing biters um but does does a lot more damage than even green ammo does 20 damage 20 plus 24 poison physical and explosion not entirely sure how those different things overlap with the different armor classes of how how behemoth biters work but there's still there's still poison damage in there which is cool because biters don't have a poison resistance and this actually looks like there's a way of scaling poison with gun damage as well which is interesting um but if we're looking then if we're comparing that to the green ammo so it does less physical damage but then again physical damage is a thing that biters have resistances to anyway but it does a whole lot more poison damage and a whole lot more explosive damage as well so it's going to be a gun, a gun upgrade um so we're going to deal with with that next time where i'm inside the train um yeah we'll deal with that at some point um we, yeah we've got a lot of wood that we can turn into burning substance stuff um there's a couple of other things to run around and just make sure they get all their things like oh yeah rubber ports um bots can have those rubber ports um yeah that'll that'll build the rest of this bit of power grid which we kind of don't do we need i hope not but this is going to help us run down this supply of stuff which is nice um, we're getting we're getting more of that um how is how is science science is running at the rate of red science or because yeah because it's one of these okay let's let's actually go and do that because due to the quirks of is that for all of these katanemo needs more red science beth moth needs more red science fireball damage 11 needs more red science yeah so we're gonna do we're gonna do kind of a weird thing where let's actually make like a lot more red science because it, it's not an expense it's not a particularly expensive recipe that i particularly care about getting the productivity modifiers up um but this is going to mean that we've effectively for these for these things that require three red science and two blue science like this is yeah we've increased it a bit but not a whole lot um but actually the other thing i could do yeah let's do that as well let's um let's change this from once to two so now we're making this will give us more green science more red science weird things that we only need because of the ratios of how necroshell kicks out extra stuff um so yeah so i need to probably still take more stuff back to this build over here right 
Um, I actually need to take basic fuel sources over there, and then also stack inserters. Uh, but we are getting, you know, some some source of steel out, which is fine, which is kind of the point. Um, we'll be able to get a lot more out if this actually all starts running and this thing gives us enough fuel. Um, maybe I do actually need to... I don't really want to have to have another fuel source over here. Um, but are we getting... Where is this... Yeah, this, this thing here. Keep doing that. Because I want this to be empty. Because... Do I have it? Have I actually solved? Let's actually check whether or not I solved... This is empty. This is all still... These guys are all kind of sad. Um, but I mean, the fact that... Actually, it's fine. This, this, this problem has been solved. I've now got all the gas that the mix build needs. I've got all of the light oil that anything might need to do with it. This other, this other one here is only... Hopefully that's not giving me power good issues. Uh, maybe, maybe this here was a bit of... Um, actually, this this change in the solar network here makes it look like I either wasn't using it or accidentally clipped something off. Um, but yeah, that's... This is actually going to be a bit of a problem, isn't it? Uh, we, we're we actually running these high, and we kind of need to run those down. Um, but yeah, interesting interesting set of problems. A um, bunch of stuff got done. Uh, now pretty safe, now clicking through the text. We'll, we'll come back and build some more weapons text next time. Um, might have a look at ways to cut down this, this kind of not build as much yellow science if I don't need as much yellow science. But yeah, did, did a few, a, a variety of things, sure.